you can visit our website for the commands in the videos if you want to purchase other study materials like packet tracer files and other course guidelines then you can email to us follow us on facebook for further updates please do like share comment and subscribe so I can quickly deliver more videos on various topics. So first of all, in any router or switch configuration, you need to know some basic commands. Okay. So these are the frequently used commands, which are like to configure IP address for the interfaces and VLANs and basic password setups and all are really uh, very basics. So you need to know that. You don't need to Google it and figure it out. You simply uh, practice it and then it will be automatically picked up. Okay. So now, for example, inside this router, I wanted to check the commands okay i am going for the cli command line interface i am entering it so this is the initial workspace on the router so here in router if you see anything like this a small arrow which means you are in the user mode of the router okay in the user mode you can't do any configurations you can simply do very few show commands uh, show flash something like that um, memory detail and all you can gain from that but most probably we don't do any uh, configurations on the user mode okay definitely we need to move on for the privilege mode there you can do the troubleshooting tracks okay for example all the show commands are checked up on the privilege mode from user mode to move on to the privilege mode you need to type en which means enable okay you need to type enable or else simply the short form is en okay when you type that you will be entering the privilege mode here okay in the privilege mode you can see the hash sign is indicating after the route okay which means you are in the privilege mode so user mode means you will see a arrow privilege mode means you will see a hash okay so here you can type the show command for example the ip interfaces and all if you wanted to check it you can type show ip interface brief okay so by doing this you can see the ip address and the status of the interface so you can see for the fast ethernet 01 you have assigned the ip address and you can see the status and protocols okay enter this is privilege mode generally used uh, to analyze the statuses or troubleshooting stuff okay you can type show run or show running configuration short form is show run okay it will show full details regarding the configurations okay so you can see scroll down and you can see okay router's name host name router okay so here for the interface fa00 there weren't any ip addresses assigned for interface fa01 ip address assigned okay likewise again if i type fully show running and let's say in mid if i forget the command i can simply press the tab to auto fill the command okay so you can see when i press the tab it's auto filling okay so show running config and if i wanted to see any other options available further or not then i can press shift and question mark okay so it's showing you can type the pipeline command for the further options or else if it is showing cr means in that point this particular command before this question mark is considered as a full command okay it has the output so that you can simply press enter and finish it okay so if you see uh, cr here then you can simply enter and 
finish the comment. Okay. When you see a more, which means there is another page to load, so you can simply press space bar. Okay. Again space. Again it's showing more, which means you can press space bar. Okay. So I'm going slowly because uh, I wanted to cover up for the complete beginners as well. Okay. So that I am explaining each and every stuff for a beginner. So now, also, if you want to save any configurations, you can simply use in the privilege mod. You need to type copy space run space start. Okay. Which means copy the running configuration which you have configured right now. You have assigned the IP address, right? This IP address is the running configuration, which means the IP address setup is stored in the running configuration, currently running setup. You need to save it so that you can move it to the startup configuration. So running configuration has been moved to startup by this command. Okay, copy run start. Full form is copy space running config space startup config. Okay. Now enter it. So it's prompting to confirm. You can enter it again. Okay. The same option is done by the write command as well. W R I T E. Short form is W R. Okay. So just enter it. We are saving the uh, configurations and all because when you restart the router, the IP address setup and all might go off, okay, if you didn't save it, okay. So that we need to save the configuration as well, okay. These are the basic setup and then you can move on for the config mod. For all the configurations, you need to go for the config mod, type config t or configure terminal, okay. Full form is configure terminal. You can visit the website for that commands. And config t is the short form. Okay. So enter. In the config mod, you can see it indicates config in front of the hash. Okay. So you need to remember first of all, in user mod, it indicates the small arrow. In privilege mod, it shows the hash sign. In config mod, it shows the config. These three mods are really important. You need to remember. You need to know. From user mod, how you can go for the privilege mod, and from privilege mod, how to, you can enter the config mod and all. Okay, so you need to know those stuff, and also in reverse, also you need to know from config mod how you can backward to the uh, router privilege mod, and again how you can return to the user mod. All this you need to remember. Okay, from user mod, just type en or enable to reach the privilege from privilege mod just type config t to reach the config mod now if you wanted to return back you can type exit or end okay so if you press exit and enter it you are in the privilege mode now again if you press exit or ex enter you are in the user mode now okay so enable config t okay now i am in the config mode you can visit our website for the commands in the videos. If you want to purchase other study materials like packet tracer files and other course guidelines, then you can email to us. Follow us on Facebook for further updates. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe so I can quickly deliver more videos on various topics. I can do the IP configurations. Very basic configuration. We start with the IP address assignment for the interface FA00. Okay, 01 we have assigned. If you want, I can assign a new IP address. Another one. Okay, we we'll assign for the FA01. Okay. The command is int, which means interface FA0 slash 1. Okay, which means the interface. Okay, interface FA0 slash 1. Enter description, which is an optional command. Okay, description 
you can type anything command is description you can type anything like a small description about uh, where this interface is connected so that uh, it would be easier for other people to understand okay so description i'm typing linking to switch one okay so enter it and then next command i can write the ip address by typing ip ad d re address, address space 192.168.10.254 this time i am assigning 10.254 earlier i have assigned 10.1 right so if you assign it again this one will overtake the previous one okay so and space subnet mask 255255 2550 enter and no shutdown okay so definitely you need to give the no shutdown command then only it will be turned on okay otherwise only the ip will be assigned but the interface will be turned off okay so enter it control is that if you press control is that means in any mod config a interface mod or config mod wherever you are if you press control and press is that you can return to the privilege mod okay so now i can type show run to check the ip config what i mean it was there or not so you can see interface f01 description has been given ip address it's been changed to 10.254 and it's active okay we can see that so assigning ip address is one of the important stuff and then you need to know how to save your configuration copy run start or wr okay and also next protection wise you need to know how to assign passwords and encrypt the data and all okay so now simply if you type uh, from user mode if you press enable you are moving for the privilege right so what i wanted is to set up a password for my uh, privilege mod access okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to enter the config mod type enable secret a password which means let me type a b c in capital one two three in simple i can write again a b c okay so capital a b c one two three then simple a b c enable secret and this enter it okay. so enable password has been set now so whenever i type uh, en or enable command on the user mod hereafter it will prompt me asking for my password setup here okay so let me return to the privilege mod control reset exit and now i'm in the user mod okay if i type en enter it's asking me for the password okay so if i type anything uh, like uh, uh, different password one it won't prompt here okay it won't show you here but it's been recorded so it will leave me another option to type the password so again if i type mistaken password or again if i type a different password three times it will wait and it will show you like bad secret list. okay so again i'm typing ea and i'm typing the correct password now capital abc then one two three then simple abc okay let me check so if you please type the password you can see it's moving for the privilege mod okay so from privilege mod i can type simply show run enter space space i can see the ip addresses okay space so now we have set up a password for our privilege mod and also when you type the show run enable secret the password is encrypted okay 
it's not indicating the password what you have set okay so there are some other passwords you can set for the console port and AUX port and telnet port VTV. so console password is used when you connect a device for reaching via the console port you can use the console password okay when you wanted to connect to IP phone and all you will use the line AUX okay when you wanted to reach via telnet or SSH which means from your PC by using the putty software in real life we will use the putty software which is the uh, platform to reach the router and all okay. by using that we need to use the protocols telnet or SSH which are used for the remote logging from somewhere connected in the switch or somewhere you can reach uh, remotely to a particular router or switch okay network device so for that you need to configure the VT device okay which means virtual terminal so I need to set up all these three passwords as well you can refer the documents in the website for the commands anyways I will show the commands okay sometimes when I am typing the commands here it might not be clear enough for you anyways I will show the commands in text document or one note later okay next we will have a look at the password commands okay so let me show you the commands in text document you can visit our website for the commands in the videos if you want to purchase other study materials like packet tracer files and other course guidelines then you can email to us follow us on facebook for further updates please do like share comment and subscribe so i can quickly deliver more videos on various topics